So in part A, we have to do the sum of vectors 2 and 3, and then we have to do the dot product. Notice that we are following an order of operations. You would have to calculate what's inside the parentheses first. And again, that would be the sum of vector D2 and D3. So we're gonna be adding these two vectors together. And that's actually relatively easy because when you add vectors together, all you need to do is add their X components, which is symbolized by I hat, add their Y components, which is symbolized by J hat, and then add the Z components, which is symbolized by the K hat. So what we'll do is we'll just leave this vector D1 alone We'll have the dot product in a moment, but then inside the parentheses, we'll just add the components. So the X components added together would actually give us zero I hat. We add the Y components, we get a negative one J hat, and then we add the Z components and we get a positive three K hat. And now we will introduce vector D1. We're gonna take this vector right here and we're gonna copy it in the place of vector D1. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Now we've colored vector D1 in blue just so it sort of stands out. And now we're going to learn how to do a dot product. Again, this is very straightforward. With a dot product, you're going to multiply the X components. You'll multiply the Y components. Switch colors there. Oh, that doesn't seem to be working. Let's see if I can figure that out. There we go. We'll multiply the Y components and then we will also multiply the Z components. And then we'll just add those three products together. So for example, for the X components, we would have negative three multiplied by zero. And then we're gonna add that to the product of the Y components. So for the product of the Y components, we would have the three meters multiplied by negative one meters. And then we add that to the product of the Z components. So two meters multiplied by three meters. Very good. Now, of course, the first term just cancels out and then we have negative three. Notice the unit would be meters squared because you're multiplying meters by meters and then you're adding that to six meters squared. And when you simplify that, you would get positive three meters squared. So this is the correct answer to part A. Let's take a look at what we need to do in part B. Now part B is going to be a little bit more entertaining because if we look carefully inside the parentheses, which is what we have to compute first, we have the so-called cross product. So we're gonna be setting up a cross product using vectors D2 and D3. So let's set that up right now. So that is one way of annotating the cross product. And to actually see how to do this, we're going to set up what I like to call the cross product template. Now in the first spot, which will end up being the I hat direction or the X component, we're going to put a little slot there. For the second position, we're gonna put a minus sign here and then we're gonna put in a little slot right there and that's gonna be the J hat direction or the Y component. And then we're gonna put a plus sign here another slot, and then we're gonna have the K hat direction or the Z component. Now, how do we actually do this? Well, what I like to do is for the I hat, I cover up that first column. And then what that leaves me with is a two by two matrix. This is the two by two matrix that we're talking about. And all you need to do there is some cross multiplication. So for example, you're going to cross multiply negative four by one, that would give you negative four and then you're gonna cross multiply three times two, that gives you six. You can put those in parentheses, and then what you do is subtract them. So when we compute that, we're gonna end up with negative 10, and that will be I hat, or the X component of that cross product. Now, for the next component, the Y component, again, what we're gonna do is cover up a column. This time we're covering up the middle column, that leaves us with another two by two determinant. So we just end up doing some cross multiplication. We'll put parentheses here for clarity. Negative two times one is negative two. Two times positive two is four. And then you subtract those results. Don't forget that extra minus sign that's built in. So we'll have a minus and then negative two minus four is negative six. So we're actually subtracting a negative six, which means we end up adding six. And that's going to be the J hat direction or the Y component. And then finally, we're gonna cover up the last column. And this way we can calculate the K hat direction or the Z component. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. We'll do our cross multiplication. We have negative two times three, which of course is negative six. We have two times negative four, which is negative eight. You're subtracting those. Be careful here, you're subtracting a negative eight. So you'll end up just adding eight. And when you combine those, you will get positive two. So you have positive two K hat. 
So that is the result of the cross product, the D2 vector crossed with the D3 vector. But let's not forget that in part B, we had something else to do. We had to do the dot product with vector D1. So we're gonna take vector D1 and we're gonna set up the dot product with the result of the cross product that we just computed. And so there is that setup, and now we just do our dot product. You'll remember what we did earlier. We multiply the x components, we multiply the y components, and then we multiply the z components, and then we add those together. So for the x components, negative 3 times negative 10 is positive 30. That's meters squared. For the y components, you have 3 times 6, which is 18 meters squared. And then you multiply the z components. So 2 times 2 is going to be 4 meters squared. Let's go ahead and add those up. So we're gonna have 52 meters squared. This is the correct answer to part B. And in fact, I think I just caught an error here. 52 is correct, but in fact, the units won't be meters squared. So please accept my apologies. This will actually be meters cubed. Now, the reason for that is because the vector D1, so this vector right here, each of those measurements was in meters. And then our cross product that we had done earlier, those outcomes were already in meters squared. So when we multiply, let's say the X components, you'd be multiplying the meters by the meters squared. That would actually give you meters cubed. So all of these should have been in meters cubed. So just be careful about the unit there. Let's move on now to part C. Now in part C, doing order of operations, we have to add vectors D2 and D3. So remember to add vectors together, very straightforward. You're just gonna add the X components together, add the Y components together, and then add the Z components together. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do that accordingly. So we're gonna have vector D1 crossed with the following outcome. Negative two plus two is zero, and that's I hat. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, so we'll actually have a negative 1 j hat. We did this earlier, and then 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3, and this is in k hat. Now let's not forget that these are all in meters, because we just added meters to meters, so it's still in meters. Now let's rewrite vector d1. And here we go again. We have to set up the cross product. So what we'll do is for vector d1, we'll just sort of line up the x, y, and Z components. And for vector D2 plus D3, we'll line up those components. So that was zero, negative one, and three. We can do the formal notation by putting I, J, K here. And then here we go. We're gonna compute this cross product. So we'll set up our template. Don't forget in the template, you have a minus sign between the first two terms and a plus sign between the second two terms. And now we're just gonna go ahead and cover up the I hat column and we'll do our little cross multiplication. So there we have nine and then we multiply here and we get negative two. And then you subtract those. So nine minus negative two is going to give us 11. And that's I hat. And now we move on and we cover up the J column. So we'll cover this up here. Negative three times three is negative nine. Zero times two, of course, is zero. You subtract those, you still get negative nine, but you have that built in minus sign. So you have a minus negative nine, that becomes a plus nine J hat. And finally, we will cover up the K column right there. We have negative three times negative one, which is three. And we have zero times three, which is zero. And you subtract and you get three. And so this would be the correct answer to the third part, part C, and everything here would be in meters squared. And so to sort of annotate that, we'll just wrap this whole vector in parentheses and then put the unit on the outside. So this is the final answer to part C. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it. But of course, please do not feel obligated to do so. I appreciate you taking the time to watch regardless.